and welcome to another episode of Crusader Kings 3 as we continue playing as the Kingdom of Benin. And I actually can't remember if we looked at this at the end of the last episode or the episode before that, but uh, if we saw it at the end of the last episode, then here it is again, the map. Byzantines are growing. Abbasids are doing their thing. Again, Jean... Janine, Jenny, Jenny, whatever, and Canem seem to be our primary rivals here. So we have, uh, again, we've collected, recollected three of our imperial titles or kingdom titles. Um, two from conquest, from in, one from inheritance. The other two are, is uh, this one, and then this one. These guys are in a war um, with Katsina. They're actually losing it pretty badly. Um, which I don't really want because this is a subjugation war. So what I think I'm going to try to do is declare war on them and beat them, which hopefully will just end that war. And then, I can uh, go to war against these guys who are pretty weak. So, I think that's my current plan. Then we'll need to grab these guys. This isn't a kingdom, but it's a pretty big high chiefdom. And then we'll also need to try to clean up, clean up a Khan as well if we whenever we can we also need to probably do something with Kano eventually they're pretty powerful and they have been a thorn in our sides when it comes to alliances of the people near us so let's uh declare war against these guys i guess we'll just claim the duchy So, looks like I'll gain all the titles here. So maybe what I'll do is give one of my children this and then otherwise disinherit him. So they'll have, I might disinherit him. I'm just thinking of the proper order. I might disinherit him first and then give him the titles so that he'll lose. Instead of gaining him, uh, giving him... Doing, giving him the titles which will give him positive approval, which probably won't do much because he probably already has high approval. And then disinheriting him, which will dislike. I'll disinherit him first, which will give him the negative, And then give him the titles, which will give him the positive, And hopefully more than make up for disinheriting him. If that makes sense. I'll do, I'll do it. You'll see what I'm talking about when I do it. Anyway... Let's do this. Okay. We have quite a few decent commanders, but we don't have anyone who's like really good. Motherly advice. My mother often sends, spends hours pointing out little details I miss at my court. Two servants who used to fight now gossip. The Castellan seems more quiet than usual. A Candelabra? Candelabra? I'm sure I'm butchering. Has been moved to the other side of the hall. Alright. Better to know than to regret not going. So we can either, so we can do that and get parent aids intrigue efforts. So intrigue plus three. 
for two years. My mother expects to have a say in my decisions. That could be interesting. I will not have you feed my worries, mother. She loses ten opinion of me. Hmm. I mean, again, since... All right, we're not trusting anymore, are we? We're forgiving, just, and gregarious. Hmm. Was it our last leader who was trusting? I'm not sure about letting her have a say in my decisions. I think I'd rather almost take the penalty hit. I don't know if any of my traits would really say I do one over the other. Oh, that war is over. Did they win that? No. Did they just end that war with... They must have just ended the war with... I'm still going to win this despite being outmatched 2 to 1, apparently. Got a valuable hostage. Severin of Oya. If I open my eyes in the dark, I am immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling as someone watching me. Are you ready to embrace the truth, Inatin? I sit up suddenly completely awake. I look around for the source of the unfamiliar woman's voice, but there are only shadows. Oya offers you her blessing. Will you accept it? So I can accept it, and I lose 100 PED and I become a witch, or I want nothing to do with this begone demon. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think we will accept, oh yeah, sorry. Oh, one thing I forgot to do, if you pardon me for a second, is take a picture for this episode, for the uh, cover of this episode, so... I'll do that really fast here, so that I don't forget. I've been hosting your Chancellor for some time now, the way she imposes all great. Come on, man. And that won the war. We're being raided, apparently, so... Somewhere. Over here, and they're already leaving, so... Alright, first... To get reacquainted, it's just forgiving Gregory, okay. Oh, we need a physician. So... I guess demand conversion here. Same thing. Oh, he won't take it. He will. All right, so we have three kids. One's actually in prison. What's this from? 
Where are you? Well, down here. Ah. Wonder what that's about. Magnificent fish pool. Well, maybe I guess I'll do uh, my youngest son then. He's only 10, but uh, does he have a guardian? He does. Oh, me. Right, so I was going to disinherit first. I'll gain stress because I'm forgiving, but I'm not doing it to punish him. I'm doing this as a strategic way to keep my lands together. So I think this is... I think this is fine. Loses 75 opinion of me. Fine. But now... Can grant these titles. Oh, I think I need to create the uh, the duchy here. Yeah. So yeah, he lost 75 opinion, and now he's gaining 140, so... Can negotiate alliance with him? Sure thing. Now, I wanted to go after them. They did get another ally. Oh, that sucks. They allied with Kanim in the meantime. Well, what else can they do? Yeah, they're allied with Barma or uh, not Barma. I thought it was Kano. Kano is the one with a whole shit ton of people. Although they still have a lot of eighty six hundred. They have four allies themselves. With which would match almost almost match ours. Hmm. Yeah. How about these guys? Like, we could probably take her without very much trouble. Again, I'm just trying to think. We need to try to collect. I actually didn't think about... Okay, it's fine. 13 days. I wasn't sure I was going to have to wait a long time for these guys to...
Here's our court physician. So I can take Dumbatu, who is a renowned physician. Okay, I think I already know who I'm gonna take. Welcome to the court. The white stag again. My lord, the search of yours for a mere beast. I have to admit it worries me. My high shaman approaches me as I sift through reports of new sightings of the white, white stag. Evidently, anything that demands so much attention could be sent by Ajagoon. As if its existence is not a sign of the absolute sovereign himself. So I can say that the stag is a messenger from Olorum. 71% chance I persuade him and I gain 100 piety. Or he 28% he doesn't believe me and he loses 15 opinion to me. I can say it's none of your business and he loses 10. You're right. And I no longer hunt for the animal. and I get, No, I'm going to do this one. Although I might need to start... <laughs> Swaying him again if we get the 28%. Nice. My champion. Okay, my half brother and sister in law have had a son. So I gained this, uh, holding. So how are my other... So we're trying to increase control here. Which we're almost done. We're trying to convert faith. Culture is already good. Here, everything is good. We're just trying to get up to level 10 development. So my guess is we're not going to be able to really do very much here for now. Because to do culture, he has to take off development, which I don't want to do. And these two are busy. He has 11 months left. So... He's 44, so I can't really rely on, like, him biting the dust to end all of these. He's a bit older. That alliance is really annoying. Who's her heir? Actually, me. So... Not declare war. This is my sister. Do I really want to assassinate my sister? I mean, not really. But that's probably... Because this alliance is going to last forever. They're 26 and 34. We're 48. could try to assassinate him. He is at least not related to us. Because my thinking here is we could assassinate him and then they won't have... 
No, that should break these alliances. This air doesn't have an alliance with anyone. So what are our chances here? Actually, really good. We gain stress because we're just. So we don't like doing things extra legal. That's the other thing to can kind of consider here. This alliance might end fairly, because she's old. That's with Kabu. Which Inaten is this? My nephew. Who's actually the heir. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so actually, he yeah, he's still going to have an alliance with them. Presumably even... Oh, he's... No. Even after she dies. <sighs> yeah. But, I mean, I kind of feel like we either have to go against them, them, or them next. Also, because we, we've we lost uh, two of the three holy sites uh, that we need. We have this one. Um, but we've lost the two here and there's one over here. Which one of these is the the least problematic? That's 8,200. 7,200. They were like 13,000, wasn't it? 14,000 oh, 14, something now. Yeah, so their allies are... Them way up there. That's the bulk. That's like a third of their military strength. Luckily they are a long way away, but I doubt we would win before they get here. This 2100 soldiers is my vassal, so that wouldn't add to it. So that would drop them down to about 12,000. That's another vassal of mine. That would drop them down to... What, like 10,900? And then there's them. So we might have about 5,000 that we would need to fight right away. And then 5,000 once these guys get down here. We can just do your claims. Guess let's try this. So we can call them in for 2,300 troops. We can call them in for about 1,400 troops. Now, this is spending prestige, so I am going to have to kind of... So I can call house members. I okay, can't ally against their liege. Same thing here. 467 soldiers is eh. 1700 is not bad.
1200. Thousand. I guess I can leave these three kind of <laughs> in reserve. But, uh... Yeah, so we had a few over here and a few over here. I might actually need to kind of do two different uh, rally points here. Let's do the minute arms here. Let's do everyone else here. I should have had them uh, raise in one army a oh while. Masonic dealings. Mace, mace, masonic de dealings? The Guild of Stonemasons has established itself in the Chiefdom of Benin. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. So I'll strike a deal. The 38% I get a great deal. I get 150 renown. And I get cooperative stonemasons, which reduces building time and cost. 45% I get a fair deal. I lose 60 gold, gain 75. Um prestige. Or 15% an unfortunate deal. I get no prestige and lose 115 gold. I can have my steward do it instead. Which case, instead of 38 and 45, it's 47 and 50. Which is probably what I would do. I would, uh... Yeah, I think so. I have to keep forgetting that I'm not trusting. This character is not trusting anymore. He hasn't called in any of his allies yet. I'm sure that won't take very long to do. There we go. That was the big ones up there. Negotiations did not go as tired and planned, my liege. The vassal sounds up apologetic. Or I do have an offer even if the Mason Guild refuses to speak to me further. Really? We got the 3%! Ah! Uh, I'll speak to them, then I will order them. I gain the higher control. I think we'd probably do this. I can't believe we got the 3% roll. Now let's move here for now, I guess. I don't really want to... Oh, did we... No. This is their ally. Although I called him, called in one of his vassals as an ally, so maybe he can't call them in now. Since the liege and the vassal would be at war with each other. That's entirely possible. Hmm. 
Well, let's uh, move over here then, I guess. I didn't even think of that possibility. Alright, here is their army. Not out to sea yet. So let's start making our way out over here. We have a stewardship perk. So monthly tyranny minus 0 0.15 or domestic affairs efficiency. Kind of like that one. Slipping away. Aja pada whatever. Seems to be having a diff- oh right, so this is our guardianship. So he's training as a steward. He sneaked out early and was not seen for the entire rest of the evening. If you have better things to do those, do those instead, he can be impatient. Which reduces learning, gains his prestige, but lowers the opinion of vassals and liege, which may not be that big of a problem. I don't know. I don't think he has... I mean... <laughs> I don't think he has any vassals right now. It's sinful, though, so that's definitely something to consider. He can be shy, which reduces diplomacy, but it does plus one learning. Or gluttonous. Man, these are... These are not great. Guess we'll just do shy. A shiny find. While strolling outside one day, I stopped to relieve myself. As I finish, I notice a bit of gleaming on the ground. Careful not to step on my urine. I move towards the shiny object and realize it's a gold coin. I gain one gold. My guess is these guys are going to try to run until they can hook up with their other army, perhaps. So what happens if we go this way? Can we go faster than through the mountains? What happened there? Why are we fighting them now? Were they our allies in this? <laughs> That's strange. The rest of our troops. Oh. God damn it. I didn't actually mean to split them up. When did they... Huh. 
Well, they're not part of this conflict necessarily. I think I'm going to send them to besiege. But yeah, if we can try to destroy or at least severely damage their army. Before their friends get over here. Okay. Valuable hostage. For now, I think I'm going to split these guys up so they can hopefully kind of recover. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, they're here. This doesn't look like it's going well. Where did they come from? Run while we can here. That's unfortunate. Not sure where they're going. Let's try to recover our strength there. So far have done literally nothing or our daughter came of age although she is still in jail I don't know yeah, let's pay for her ransom Can try to remember to marry her off. Let's start doing some sieging. 
can. People are full strength here. Okay, they're not at war with me or anything. So these would be just added knights, right? This is six months, <laughs> 19 months, nine months. This is another knight here. Oh, my, my player air, right. Uh, which one of these are in the worst shape? I guess them. This says we would lose. gonna try to attack us here so let's start moving our men over Trying to tell, I think the one coming into this province may be white. So let's, I know we just blew our, all of our, uh, nope. There we go. Allies wanna wanna maybe help out. Thanks. The white stag. I'm out with my retween, reto, ret retinue in Benin City. When the road twists and takes us in close to the jungle, it is there I see it once more, shimmering in the sun, the white stag. I turn to alert the others, but as soon as I turn back, the stag is already gone. It haunts me. I need to do some stress relief here, preferably. I don't have any secrets that I can expose. So let's maybe <laughs> do a hunt and look for the white stag, I guess. My levies are taking a beating here. The noise from the others have faded away by the time Stuart, my steward and I stalk up on the stag. 
We're almost within striking distance when he whispers to me that I, now that I, now that we are finally by ourselves, there's something I need to let you know about Ikun, my cousin. Uh, sure, tell me. And I can reveal it and get even more stress relief. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do is I'll send them. I hate splitting up my army that much. How big are the four, four, six, four, three, three? This is a two, and I bet this is probably, what, another three? Yeah. The keen eye. My son seemed to play... Okay, so this is the last... Uh... Well, okay, so gre <laughs> greedy. Okay, so he's doing stewardship. Enjoyed our latest feast immensely of all the things he could not stop talking about, the rich clothes and glittering gold he saw there. If we can either get greedy... Which doesn't actually increase its stewardship, but it does increase, like, monthly income. Or I could give him Lustful, which is not that great. I guess he's, I guess he's gonna be greedy. He's honest, shy, yet greedy. We have an empty council position. Our marshal, our marshals always seem to bite the dust. <laughs> in these wars. Returning from the wild, the hunt's drawing to a close. Again, 150 prestige. Let's see what secret we learned. Our cousin's a witch. Alright. And we'll lose 30 stress because we're just for exposing this. Oh, okay, there's another army going with us. That's why it showed two armies there. Alright, so they lose the... They lose the, uh... Tigging War score. So that helps that a lot. Uh... See if we can go after like one of these fours since we actually have the siege engine here. A shady discussion. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a small, soft breeze carries the voices of Io, my one of my champions, and Zianab, who is another one of my champions, to my ear. The two couriers, courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently, frequently glancing around to make sure no one's listening. While it's hard for me to make out most of their words from a distance, clear their discussion relates to my marshal. So... I'm not trusting... I don't know why I keep getting that in my head. We're just forgiving and gregarious. So we could warn him. He gains 25 opinion of you. They each lose 25 of me. We could try to get closer, which is an intrigue challenge that we would most likely fail. And I would lose 75 prestige. We can't torture them because I'm forgiving. Or I could lose 10 Dread that I probably don't even have in the first one. I have a little bit. I guess we could warn him. He's the one who needs more opinion of me anyway. So, I guess. So how are these going to go now? Seven months. 
Seven months. Ten months. Although we might have to once again pull people away. Seven months. Minting new coinage. Didn't we have this one earlier? It's my right and responsibility to determine what coinage. So the mint silver coins facilitates trade. We don't have that anymore. So I might as well do that again. So they're coming back. My guess is they're heading towards this group. Yep. Which we are not going to win. So they're going to arrive in 15 days. So I guess we're going to leave. We in theory should... We should arrive in 15 days while they arrive in... We should arrive in 11 days while they arrive in 15 days. So, we should be able to get out of here first. In theory. Ooh, barely. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. But, uh, let's actually go down here so we can maybe try to, we're at like half strength here. This is almost done. Looks almost done. All well, this is three months. And then we'll need to go over there and relieve and try to break them out. Oh no, one of my prisoners escaped. Dare he. Didn't seem to hurt my war score though, so that's good. Hopefully I can get this war done. Hmm. Unfortunately, these guys are coming down here. I don't know if they'll do a about face if I turn around or not, or if I head this way. Uh, looks like they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Good. Whoops. Uh, your speed would be... Greatly appreciated here, thank you. Woo! And I now control this again. And I can get another stewardship perk. The direct vassal opinion plus 10, which doesn't really... Oh, yeah, that would matter. Liege opinion, I don't have a liege. Yeah, so let's do this. Uh, 
All right, let's let's look at all of our prisoners. Uh, sure, that's most of the hundred. Ten. Wait. So this says for a favor, but it says he'll pay 15 to me. That's... Okay. Huh. Okay. I guess. Twenty-five. They're already considering. Fifty. Already considering. Yeah, so this one is just, you know, leaves the prison. So we can demand her conversion. Same thing here, it looks like. And same thing here. But they won't... Oh, right. That's the dude who won't accept it. Uh, okay, he's willing to pay me 25. Uh, I'll see. I'm not sure if that's all I can get out of him, though. My mother died. 25? Alright. Yeah, it looks like that what we could have gotten. Right, my daughter can marry now. Yeah, and we probably want that to be matrilineal. Um, let's see. Where are these guys? I actually have... Oh, whoops, no idea. Oh, are they one of our vassals? Yeah, okay. Um, I kind of like this because they have a lot of stewardship, which you could use. He has a in good inheritable trait, and it would be an alliance for I mean, a thousand men. Not bad. Now, it says they are related... But it doesn't look like they're really immediately related, does it? So. Isn't this what I just did? When we talk about life, my wife and I often agree. I just know that she understands how I view the world. Okay. Okay, so we've gotten five of our kingdom titles back now, it looks like. Now, she's still in line to get two of them, which, of course, is not ideal. Uh, but that is something we're going to have to deal with next time, I guess. Because that war basically took 
most of this episode. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you here next time on Crusader Kings 3.